Hi folks. It's a crazy world we're living in right now and obviously we have a pandemic growing around the world, which is biblical. But I want to remind you that our Lord is faithful to us when we are faithful and we have keep our faith unwavering and we follow his commandments. He, he will be there for us. So I'm going to read from the book of Daniel. And I'm going to read chapter 3. And this is a wonderful story. And it's important now to realize what happens and what can happen when you're faithful to your God. Our Lord in heaven. Yahweh and his son Yeshua. So, chapter 3. Nebuchadnezzar the king made an image of gold whose height was three score cubits and the breadth thereof six cubits. He set it up in the plain of Dura in the province of Babylon. Then Nebuchadnezzar the king sent to gather together the princes the governors, the captains, the judges, the treasurers, the counselors, the sheriffs, and all the rulers of the provinces to come to the dedication of the image which Nebuchadnezzar the king had set up. Then the princes, the governors, then the captains, the judges, the treasurers, the counselors, the sheriffs, and all the rulers of the provinces were gathered together unto the dedication of the image that Nebuchadnezzar the king had set up. And they stood before the image that Nebuchadnezzar had set up. Then an herald cried aloud, To you it is commanded, O people, nations, and languages, that at what time ye hear the sound of the coronet, flute, harp, sackbut, paltry, dulcimer, and all kinds of music, ye shall fall down and worship the golden image that Nebuchadnezzar the king has set up. And whoso faileth not fall not down, and whoso falleth not down and worshipeth shall the same hour be cast into the midst of a burning fiery furnace. Therefore, at that time, when all the people heard the sound of the coronet, flute, harp, sackcloth, paltry, and all kinds of music, all the people, the nations, the languages, fell down and worshipped the golden image that Nebuchadnezzar the king had set up. Wherefore at that time certain Chaldeans came near and accused the Jews. They spake and said to King Nebuchadnezzar, O king, live forever. Thou, O king, hast made a decree that every man that shall hear the sound of the cornet, flute, harp, sackbuck, paltry, and dulcimer, and all kinds of music shall fall down and worship the golden image. And whoso falleth not down and worshipeth, that he should be cast into the midst of a fiery burning, a burning fiery furnace. There were, there are certain Jews whom thou hast set over the affairs of the province of Babylon, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, these men, O king, have not regarded thee. They serve not thy gods, nor worship the golden image which thou hast set up. Then Nebuchadnezzar, in his rage and fury, commanded to bring Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Then they brought these men before the king. Nebuchadnezzar spake and said unto them, is it true, O Shadriac, Mishiac, and Abednego, do not ye serve my gods, nor worship the golden image which I have set up? Now if ye be ready, that at what time ye hear the sound of the cornet, flute, harp, sackbut, poultry, and ducimer, 
and all kinds of music. Ye fall down and worship the image which I have made. Well, but if ye worship not, ye shall be cast that same hour into the midst of a burning, fiery furnace. And who is that God that shall deliver you out of my hands? Shadriach, Mishiach, and Abednego answered and said to the king, O Ebuchadnezzar, ye are not careful, we are not careful to answer thee in this manner. If it be so, our God whom we serve is able to deliver us from the burning fiery furnace, and he will deliver us out of thine hand, O king. But if not, be it known unto thee, O king, that we will not serve thy gods, nor worship the golden image which thou hast set up. Then Nebuchadnezzar was full of fury, and the form of his visions was changed against Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Therefore he spake and commanded that they should heat the furnace one time seven more than it were to be heated. And he commanded the most high, the most mighty men that were in the army to bind Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, and to cast them into the burning fiery furnace. Then these men were bound in their coats, their hosen, their hats, and their other garments, and were cast into the midst of the burning fiery furnace. Therefore, because the king's commandment was urgent, and the furnace exceeding hot, the flame of the fire slew those men that took Sadriach, Meshach, and Abednego. And these three men, Sadriach, Meshach, and Abednego, fell down bound in the midst of the burning fiery furnace. Then Nebuchadnezzar the king was astoned, and rose up in haste, and spake, and said unto the counselors, Did not we cast three men bound in the midst of the fire? They answered and said unto the king, True, O king. He answered and said, Lo, I, I see four men loose, walking in the midst of the fire, and they have no hurt, and the form of the fourth is like the Son of God. Then Nebuchadnezzar came near to the mouth of the burning fiery furnace and spake, and said, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, ye servants of the Most High God, come forth and come hither. Then Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego came forth of the midst of the fire, and the princes, governors, and captains, and the king's counselors being gathered together, saw these men, upon whom the bodies, the fire had no power, nor was an hair of their heads singed, neither was their coats changed, nor the smell of fire had passed on them. Then Nebuchadnezzar said, spake and said, Blessed be the God of Sadriach, Meshach, and Abednego, who hath sent his angel and delivered his servants that trusted in him and have changed the king's word and yielded their bodies that they might not serve nor worship any god except their own god. Therefore I make a decree that every people, nation, and languages which speak anything amiss Against the god of Shadriach, Meshiach, and Abednego shall be cut in pieces, and their houses shall be made a dunghill, because there is no other god that can deliver after this sort. Then the king promoted Shadriach, Meshiach, and Abednego in the province of Babylon. It's amazing. Our God is so absolutely amazing. And when we are faithful and true and keep his commandments, he is faithful and true to us. And he's good to us. And he gives us strength and he gives us comfort so that we can run 
and not be weary, and we can walk and not faint. He, he sustains us. He gives us what we need. And now, today, we need comfort. We need to be reassured how powerful he is and how much he loves us and what what's possible when we are faithful and we don't let the things of the world bother us or steal our joy because it, it makes him happy to see us joyful. It makes him happy and he made us for his pleasure and he loved us so much that he sent his son to die on the cross for us. He walked among us on earth, the only perfect man to ever grace the face of the earth. And we long to be back with our Heavenly Father. And, and that time will come. But in the meantime, we walk through this world, but we are not of this world. And so take, take heart, my friends, and don't lose your faith. Just keep on keeping on being faithful with God. And I want to I want to sing a song I wrote to you that um I think is a good song to encourage us. <sighs> if you have faith the size of a grain of a mustard seed you can say to the mountain, move over yonder, and it would. If your ship's on an ocean, being tossed by a tempest, and the wind and the rain blowing all your bow, he will be there. For he will never leave you, nor will he forsake you, for nothing is impossible for God. So grow your faith to the size of a grain of a mustard seed. Watch it grow to the size of a mustard tree oh that'll reach to heaven and Jesus walked on the water Jesus calmed the sea Peter said Lord can I come to thee and Jesus said, Come. And Peter walked on the water. Peter sank in the water. And the Lord said, O Peter, when didst thou stout? If you have faith, the size of a grain of a mustard seed, you can say to the mountain, Move over yonder, and it would. If your ship's on the ocean, being tossed by a tempest, and the wind and the rain blowing o'er your bow, he will be there, for he will never leave you. Nor will he forsake you, for nothing is impossible for God. So grow your faith to the size of a grain of a mustard seed. Watch it grow to the size of a mustard tree. Oh, that'll reach to heaven. Amen. Praise our Lord. 
for he is mighty and awesome and full of honor and glory. And I give thanks to you, Heavenly Father, for all my blessings. And I ask that you forgive my sins, Lord, as I forgive those who trespassed against me. And Lord, lead me not into temptation, but deliver me from evil. For thou art the kingdom and the power and the glory and the grace forever and ever. Amen.